Hello. Uh, what I would like to talk to you today about is something that I'm very passionate about and something I hold very dear to my heart, and that is my five C's of traditional archery. We live in a time where we like to overcomplicate things. And to me, archery isn't something that's overcomplicated. It's very simple. It's in our DNA. We've done it since the time we stood on two legs. Um, since we were cavemen, we've, we've used archery. It's, like I say, it's in our blood. It's in our DNA. Um, so it breaks my heart when I see people get really, really het up about traditional archery and really overthinking it. And, and it doesn't need to be, or at least I feel it doesn't need to be. Now, I understand some people, that's how their mind works. They like to overanalyze. They like to perfect everything. They like to minimize, maximize things to get the absolute best out of something. And, and I can appreciate people doing that. But for me, it's too much. I like the simple things in life. I'm a simple guy. I like shooting my bow. I don't like overthinking about it. When I'm shooting, I'm shooting because I don't want to think about things. I want to escape from the world. I want to be in the woods. I want to get back to nature. I don't want to be overanalyzing myself. I don't want to be overanalyzing my equipment. I just want to shoot. So what I've done is I've come up with these things called the five C's of uh, traditional archery. And what I've done, I've, I've looked at archery as a whole and I've broken it up into these five, five compartments. And then individually these compartments, there's a huge range of things to talk about, but I just want to talk to you a little bit about these five C's and how you can apply them to your archery. And if you do, it's going to make things a lot simpler for you. It's going to help hopefully improve your archery. I'm not saying it's going to. Um, there's no fix all for archery. If you put the effort in and the time, you'll get better. But I'm hoping this kind of um, thing will just, just make you think about archery a little bit and what you're doing and hopefully you'd be able to take something from it. Now, I'm not saying this is gospel. Um, it's just something that I found over many years of shooting that works for me. Uh, and hopefully it'll work for you too, but it might not. There's millions of people out there with fantastic advice and you've got you to gotta go through that advice and find out what works for you. Not everything's going to work for you. Um, so let's take a look at these five C's of, uh, of traditional archery. The first C I'd like to talk about is being comfortable. And it's so important to be comfortable when you're shooting, because if you're uncomfortable, you're gonna be shooting in a way that isn't natural. And if you're shooting in a way that isn't natural, you're not gonna be getting the best out of you. Now, I've said it a million times before that everybody is different. Everybody will approach archery in a different way. Everybody's put together in a different way. And there's not one fix all for everybody. Everybody shoots differently. Everybody has different, different muscle fibers, different bone structures. And you've got to find what fits best for your body type, the way you work. You might be carrying a shoulder injury. That means you might not be able to do a certain thing that you've been told to do. Everyone has to approach archery differently. And it's so important to be comfortable because if you're uncomfortable, you're not getting the best out of yourself. But it's also important to be comfortable with the way you're shooting, but it's also uh, important to be comfortable with what you're shooting. So you have to, the, the bow you're shooting, the arrows you're shooting have to fit right for you, have to feel right. Everybody will find a bow that suits them. Everybody will pick up a bow and think, wow, that's really nice, or oh, I don't like that one so much. And you're never gonna know what sort of bow is gonna suit you until you pick it up. I mean, I'm very fussy about my grip. I'm, uh, you know, there's lots of things that I look for in a bow. Um, I'm lucky enough that, that I, could, I can develop my own bow and it fits me perfectly. But that bow might not fit you perfectly, it, it, but it might fit your friend perfectly. It, it, it's one of those. There is no universal thing when it comes to archery. It's the most individual sport I've ever come across in my life. And it's important that you are comfortable with what you're doing and how you're doing it. Being overbowed, for example, that's not gonna be comfortable you're not going to be getting the best out of your archery. You're not going to be getting the best out of you. You're going to be struggling. So it's important when you shoot that you look for the most comfortable thing to do. How you stand, you've got to be comfortable. How you shoot, you've got to be comfortable. It's make sure it feels right. Your body is very clever and your body will tell you if something's not right. Pain is your, your body's way of saying, this doesn't feel right. I need to, I need to reevaluate this. I need to have a look at this again. I need to approach this in a slightly different way so this doesn't hurt. Um, yes, whenever you try something new for the first time, there's, there's gonna be sort of 
a bedding in period where it's going to feel alien but if that that alien feeling starts to feel painful then maybe consider trying something else but back to that C is whatever you're doing make sure you're comfortable make sure you shoot in a way that feels right so that's the first C comfortable okay so we're gonna look at the second C now which is concise I talk about archery being very simple and I think the movements you do and the way you shoot should also be simple I see a lot of over embellishment with archery I see a lot of people over egging the pudding is, is, a, is a phrase my, my grandma would used to use with big explosive releases um, and, and needless movements um, archery is very simple and a bow is very simple a bow is designed to do one thing incredibly well and the less influence we have over that bow the straighter the arrow is going to fly the straighter you're going to come back the straighter everything's going to be and the better your shot's going to be so i see people big explosive release and then this this big movement coming back onto the shoulder it doesn't do anything it's just an over embellishment now one of one of the best things that i've seen for um developing a good concise release is the jeff Kavanagh two anchor point method where you 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 have your first anchor point and then you develop a second anchor point somewhere on your face so you go from one anchor point to another anchor point now as you develop your archery as back tension kicks in as as you start building a really good shot from the ground up that second anchor point is probably going to change somewhat as your body develops its own follow through its own release but it teaches you to, to be a little bit more concise a little bit more consistent a little bit a little bit simpler not over embellishing you don't need big huge dynamic releases it's just a small movement the bigger the release the more energy you're putting into release that you could be putting into that shot so keep things if you can nice and simple don't overdo it it doesn't need to be done it's it's very simple just keep everything nice and straight uh, the straighter you're going to be, the straighter the arrow is going to be. You need to come back on the same plane, plane as the arrow is going forward. It is incredibly simple. The, the straighter you can be, the straighter the arrow is going to be. Don't overcomplicate it. So that's concise. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is consistency. Now this arguably is one of the more important C's we're going to talk about. Consistency is the key to archery now there have been a hundred hundreds of books written about archery but one that springs to mind is called the art of repetition now it's geared more towards uh, target archery but there's a lot of, a lot in there that makes sense to any form of archery it's all about executing the same shot over and over again if you can build up your shot cycle to be really really repeatable and consistent you're going to yield some really good results that's the key to archery really is being able to be consistent um, so you get yourself a solid shooting frame get you get it to a stage where your body knows what it's going to do so you can execute the same shot time and time again now that is really the, the crux of, of consistency. It really is an important C when it comes to archery. Um, building in that art of repetition. Um, you've got to be careful that you're not going to be building into your shot sequence some bad elements. You want to try and keep the elements as, as solid and as wholesome as possible. Um, but yeah, keep, keep consistent, keep concise, make sure it's comfortable. So that is the third C, consistency. Let's talk about the fourth C now, and that is control. It's very important when you're shooting to be able to control the shot. You need to have mastery over your shot. I've never been uh, a fan of letting anything other than myself dictate when a shot is ready to happen. Personally, I don't like a clicker. I know a lot of people are using clickers and if that's what works for you then that's absolutely fine personally for me i don't like the idea of it i know it, it can build in a little bit of uh consistency as a draw check or whatever and i know it's helped a lot of people with sort of target panic and things 
but for me I want to have complete control over my shot I, I want my body to tell me when the shots ready to go not a device or, or anything I like to be in control now uh, I know a lot of people use, using various devices now and if that's your thing that's completely your thing that's your path and you go for it for me I like to be able to control a shot I like to to have that inbuilt sort of thing where I'm at full draw the shots there and when I want to execute a controlled shot I will execute the controlled shot I won't let an external device execute the shot for me I will do it myself now I, I don't want to interrupt the big guy he's just talking from his heart but he should be explaining a little bit more about how a clicker should work and clickers are actually pretty good tools I mean there's a reason why they're used almost uh, universally uh, in sort of Olympic style archery. It does build in consistency into your shot. But the trick is to use the clicker correctly. You need to be in control of the clicker rather than the clicker being in control of you. I think he mentions this. But when you're at full draw, almost at full expansion, and you're ready to make the shot, what needs to happen is, is you just need to engage just that little extra couple of percent just to make that click go you're aware of when you're the clicks almost there you make the click happen and then you execute a really well timed well executed shot it's when people come to full draw with a clicker and they're thinking well the clicker's going the clicker's gonna go and they're not sure when it's gonna go and it glow goes and then the shot's released the arrow goes you're not in control of the shot now there's a hole in my buddy's bedroom wall because he was controlled by his clicker not the other way around so that's just something to bear bear in mind clickers aren't the devil they're they're an absolutely fantastic tool clearly he's not really into them um but that's fine each to their own like he says whatever you can put on your bow to to get you shooting is is the main thing so i'm gonna let the guy carry on he's he's, he's doing okay so i hear a lot of people talk about uh sort of uh, a surprise shot oh the shot's got to be a surprise i personally don't agree with that um i had a, a chat with um jeff kavanagh about this uh, a couple of months back looking for a, 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 su a surprise shot a lot of people say oh when you make the shot it's got to be a surprise i don't like that that to me is inviting dare i say target panic um it's again it's not having complete dominance over your shot you need to have complete control over your shot again that's why i i tend to if ever i'm helping someone out with their shooting and they're having some problems i tend to sort of if we can drop some poundage it's way better to have a slightly lower poundage than you need um, to get over certain issues um, but it's, it's, it's better to have slightly lo lower poundage because it's it's a lot better to completely be able to dominate that poundage if you can really dominate that poundage you can control it therefore you've got control over your shot you can make the shot happen you tell the shot when you're ready to make the shot you're not inviting a surprise and you're not inviting an element of oh the shot's not there I'm, I'm waiting for something to go you can look at you can eyeball exactly what you want to do you can really focus in you can laser beam on that spot that target whether it be an animal whether it be 3d whether it be a target whether it be a tree stump you can really laser focus on that that shot you can engage everything that needs to be engaged and you can just execute a shot that you have decided you are ready to execute it's a completely controlled shot now um uh, joel turner um i i'm sure you've, you've heard of joel turner is uh a fantastic archer he does a lot uh, about completely controlling your shot um, some of the stuff i think is absolutely fantastic some of it's not right for me but check out joel turner he he's got some really uh, interesting ideas when it comes to shot execution and uh, controlling your shot but it's very important to whatever you're doing is to have mastery over it it's your shot it's nobody else's you need to make it happen you can't rely on anything else i know it's not quite as, as, as simple as that people have target panic people have issues and things and if putting a clicker on your bow means you can pick up your bow and start shooting again i'm all for it it doesn't matter to me what you've got on your bow for me it's not for me but if it works for you go for it whatever you can do to get you out in the woods shooting is absolutely fantastic so that is is the fourth c 
uh, and that's control. That brings us to the fifth and final C, and that's confidence. Now, this is actually my favorite C when it comes to traditional archery, and, and more so instinctive archery. Um, it's overlooked quite a lot, and it's, I cannot underestimate, or I cannot overstate the, uh, the importance of having confidence in your abilities and the way you shoot. Um, it's almost like if you, you can talk yourself out of a shot really, really easily. Now, we've all been there, we've all been to our local 3D course, we've been walking around, and let's say, for example, there's, I don't know, a little you know, crocodile on top of a hill or something. It's a small shot, it's quite a long way away, it's, it's, you miss it more than hit it. So you tell yourself, you come up to the shot, you say, oh, I hate this shot, I always miss this one. Right there, what you've done is you've convinced yourself you're not gonna hit it. Chances are you're not gonna hit it because you've talked yourself out of the shot. If you have the confidence to get up there and go, right, I'm having this little bugger, it's mine, and believe that you can make it, have the confidence in your ability to make the arrow go from your bow right to the kill zone on that little crocodile, chances are it's gonna happen. You need to have confidence in your abilities, especially with instinctive archery. Um, a lot of people I've had uh, dealings with and I've been trying to help, the main problem they've had is they've lost their confidence. And it can be devastating to an archer having lost your confidence. And I can say that with authority because it happened to me. Um, uh, I went, as you probably know, I went to the World 3Ds a couple of years ago and my confidence was destroyed after that. Up until that point, my confidence was high, but that tournament, for one reason or another, destroyed my confidence. And it almost destroyed archery for me because I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe I could hit anything. I didn't believe I could do the things that I used to be able to do. And it, and it, and it almost destroyed me. Slowly, surely, building myself back up to a stage where I'm believing in myself again. And I think you need to believe in yourself too when you're shooting. You need to have the confidence to be able to do what you want to do. Um, that whole thing of visualizing a shot before you take it, you sort of imagine the arc of the arrow flying through the air. Imagine that arrow hitting exactly what it is you're looking at. It builds that confidence. It lets your body and your brain communicate. It lets you know what you need to do to get that arrow to that point that you're looking at. So confidence is such an important thing in archery and it's it's hugely overlooked everyone talks about the technical elements of, of archery and and good follow-through good stance good good uh, shooting frame good archery fundamentals and they are absolutely uh, hugely important when it comes to archery but the one that gets overlooked is confidence and you need to have confidence in yourself you need to have confidence in your abilities to shoot or hit what it is that you want to shoot yeah so that's the fifth c that's confidence and as long as you've got confidence in your abilities i think you'll do okay so that has been my five c's of uh, traditional archery we've had uh, comfortable we've had concise uh, consistent controlled and confidence and hopefully if you put all those together and you utilize those kind of uh, those points hopefully that will make your archery better i'm not saying it's it's the gospel it's just sort of com compartmentalizing a whole load of archery into five sort of easy to to digest points and whatever you're trying to work on within your archery you can usually pigeonhole it into one of those sort of five points and, and, and sort of work on it from there now there are there are hundreds of people out there making videos about archery writing articles writing books it's important that you go and source as many as you can and look at these these things because everyone's going to have a different approach and not every single one of those approaches is going to work for you but you don't know until you've had a look take all this information in digest it and apply it to you you are an individual you will come up with the best way to make archery work for you um, there is no fix all there is no magical formula for making archery work there's 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 no one size fits all it's such an individual sport and that's why i love it there's a polar right and a polar wrong when it comes to archery but there's a lot of gray areas in the middle and there's a lot of things that you can apply to your archery that will help you 
So don't be afraid to, to go and dig around. Don't be afraid to, 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 to listen to something I've said and it not work for you. That's absolutely fine. Um, not everything's going to work. So have a look. Drink it all in. There's, there's some amazing people out there that have got so much knowledge to give. Um, one of my uh, a really good friend of mine, Jeff Kavanagh, he has got so much knowledge. It's a shame he's not really making many videos anymore. But his, his knowledge of uh, traditional and instinctive archery is, is second to none, in my opinion. Um, Wolfie Hughes, again, is, is an archer that isn't really making many videos anymore. He's off d doing some pretty cool stuff. But he's got a... a a, a really good sort of uh, understanding of the mechanics of archery. Uh, Tom Clum Senior, brilliant archer. I'm, I'm lucky enough to have to have, have sat by him uh, at, a, at a at a cookout at uh, at Etar. Incredible man, incredible knowledge. The guys from the Push, Joel Turner, all these guys have got some really good points. Not all of them uh, uh, work for me. Not all of them are what I take on board. But that doesn't matter. There's so many things out there to to try and drink in. Uh, and process and, and, and put in, into your way of shooting. So I hope you found that useful. It's been a bit of a talky video, um, but uh, yeah, I'm slowly getting back into the, the swing of things. Um, thanks for sticking with me. I just want to say a huge thank you to uh, my patrons. They, they are brilliant and it's a fantastic community and I, I treasure every single one of you. So thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I hope you found that useful. You take care, shoot straight, and I'll see you on the internet. Bye-bye. Oh, d don't forget to like and subs. I'm not going to say it. I've never done that. Huh? It, yeah, it's not mine. I'm not going to do it. But do like and subscribe. But I'm not going to say it because it's. I've never done it. Well, I maybe did it once or twice. It's not my thing though. It just seems a bit. Please, please, sir, I'd like some more. If you like the videos, you can subscribe. It's fine. If you don't like them, you should still subscribe anyway and fill the comment section with hate. No, don't do that. Don't be a dick. I should probably stop talking now. Is that done? Mm hmm What the five C's, Millie? It's pop quiz. Uh, comfortable? Yep. Consistent? Yep. Uh, confidence? Yep. Control? Yep. Looking cool? No, but that should be. That's good. Oh, I can we redo the video and call it the six C's? Because I've told you this many times, 80% of archery is looking cool. To be fair, so is the 20%. It's all about looking good. Which is, you know, why I'm better than you. And that's why I'm not going to Canada. Also, not forgetting um, Gregory Richards and Jeff Krug. They are the greatest people to ever be on YouTube. And when I grow up, I want to be just like those guys. <laughs>